Welcome to Movies, Games and Technology. I'm going to be reviewing the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Okay, let's get right into it. So, you get this little device that you can hide behind your television. Um, HDMI connection. Now this isn't the original cable. This cable I brought separate off eBay. Um, it's just so that I don't have to keep fishing out the cable from the back of the TV if I want to move this to another room. Um, also, this is the original adapter. You want an extra adapter, you just got to make sure it is a 5 volt output and 1 amp. So remember that. Again, I've got a couple of these lying around, so I've got one in each room, so I don't have to um, fish the plug out from the back of the TV or the original cable. A couple of those, they're a couple of quid off eBay, so they're worth keeping. Now the reason for me buying this Google TV is in my dining room the TV I have isn't a smart one so this product is ideal for turning your TV into a smart TV let me just get the room out of here, there we go you get the remote, get it with the batteries Now it's a very small remote, so you know, you, you got to be really careful. You can easily lose this round down the back of your sofa with ease. It's a nice looking remote, it's very slippy as well. So it can easily be lost. Very simple device. You've got your voice um, activation button where you will press it to search for stuff. You've got your mute button, Netflix, YouTube, power. Home and back. That one I believe is exit. Um, so that is the gist of what you get in the box itself. Um, you will also get some pre installed apps such as YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, ITV, Hub, is that yeah, My5, Google Photos, and Spotify. Also, it does have 4K capability. Um, I will demonstrate this by connecting it to my um, television. And I will show you some of the features that this device has. Um, just a quick run through of what, what, what it does have um, is um, Bluetooth um, capability where you can add a Bluetooth speaker. Um, it has voice search. A bit like Alexa um, and you can search for various things like news if you just say something like news it will bring up the latest news if you say um, um, action movies it will bring up the latest action movies and so on um, and I will demonstrate this a little later in the video so lovely device really compact or easily hide behind your television again it's a no-brainer $59.99 it'll turn your non-smart TV into practically a smart TV so it's absolutely worth it um, and it will save you spending hundreds of hundreds of pounds on a new television so let's go and give this a test Okay, um, I've got the Google TV plugged into my television now. And I'm just going to go through a few uh, main useful features of this uh, device. Um, the first one is basically the TV is now on standby. And I can actually power it on using the Google device. So as long as I press the 
power button. The TV will spring into life as you can see and that's gone straight to the main menu where you can access all your apps, Netflix, YouTube, BBC iPlayer, um, My5, Prime Video etc. Um, you can also add additional apps like Plex for example which has a few um, free movies but I will warn you they do have a lot of ad ad advertisements while the film is playing which can get a little bit annoying so just be warned if you do get that um, app. Um, another good feature of this is the search option. Um, it's voice remote so for example if I want the weather I can simply just hold down the button weather currently in Wigan it's 10 degrees and mostly cloudy tonight the forecast is around 10 with rain so that'll tell me the weather news current news and this will launch ITV News. This is what the ultimate power night out will be hoping to repeat on New Year's Eve this year. With the government saying there will be no new restrictions in England for the rest of 2021. Work is... So it brings it all up. Sorry if you hear that whining, it is my dog BB who's um, frustrated with his uh, toy that he can't tear up. Okay. Um, Search for action films. And that brings up all the popular action films. Comedy films. And so on, you get the idea. Um, another one is basically if I say something like BMW. BMW. I found a few BMW locations near you. The first one is Williams Bolton BMW at 1 Vincent Way, Rakes Lane, Bolton. The second one is Hallowell. Okay, let's try uh, Tesco. I found a few Tesco Superstore locations near you. The first one is Tesco Extra at Cross Street, Hindley, Wigan. The set. So that brings up everything, you know. If if I need a, um, I don't know, petrol station or something, it can bring it up. So uh, let's try um, car videos, and that'll bring up some car videos on YouTube. Um, Football. And again, brings up videos on YouTube for football and so on. Um, another one you can actually add a Bluetooth speaker if you go into the settings. That one down there is already added. That you see just below the TV. So you'd go into settings, remotes and accessories tells you the battery level and also it tells you the battery level for the actual remote as well mine's currently saying good so that's fine at the minute however the bluetooth speaker needs a charge that looks low so in terms of turning a non-smart tv into near enough a smart tv for 59.99 rather than spending hundreds on a new television this device is a no-brainer and it really is useful um, you can add other apps onto it if you want and also the, as I, I think I've mentioned that there are a few games that you can add personally I, I'm not bothered about the games um, there's all sorts of commands you can give it I mean if you want like a series you can just simply say series And it will bring up loads of series that you might be interested in. 
so that's about it I think um, cracking device can't go wrong um, thumbs up from me um, definitely give it five stars at five out of five um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next review thank you and goodbye